Hey guys, Ty here, and in this video, this will be a quick one. I'm gonna show you how to access the Android system settings of your Oculus Quest. It's like a phone, it runs off Android, and it has that same Android system settings menu in there just like your cell phone. Uh, one of the biggest advantages is that you can completely adjust screen brightness, which is great. I think the screen is a little bit bright by default, so I typically run it at like 80% or so. This is super easy to adjust, and on top of being able to adjust screen brightness, you can access like Bluetooth. You can go in and check how much um, storage apps are taking. You can force close apps. There's really a, a lot you can do with it and it's super, super simple. So let's jump into it. Tyco Tech, tech reviews and tutorials. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do if you haven't already started sideloading stuff is you're gonna to need to put the headset into developer mode. Uh, I'm gonna to try to make this part really quick because I think a lot of people watching this will have already been uh, keen to the sideloading stuff. Uh, but put your headset into developer mode. I'll provide a link down below on how to do that. It's super simple. Next thing you're gonna to need to do is plug your headset into your PC. You're gonna to need to download SideQuest. I'll provide a link to that down below too. As soon as you launch SideQuest, SideQuest, you may get a pop-up notification inside of the headset uh, to allow the connection. Uh, tick always allow and then click OK, allow it. And now that you've got SideQuest running and your headset set up, you're gonna download a settings app that I've got. Now it's not really a, a settings app, it's just a shortcut that will launch the Android system settings that are already on the headset right there. Just drag it over from uh, the folder where you've downloaded over to SideQuest. It will install uh, and then to get to it, you're just going to go to uh, Oculus TV and then channels. We'll hop in the headset here and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are inside of the headset there. So go ahead and click on TV. But once TV launches, uh, we're going to go ahead and go over here and click on channels. And then you're going to scroll down and you'll see this big gear icon. That is it. Go ahead and click on that. And then look at this. We've got Android system settings. So there's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, data usage, more. Display, this is the one that I like right here. You can click on display and then brightness level right here at the very top and it will open up a little slider at the top. And you can see I'm actually running this, you know, maybe 40% and I find this is, this is good for most things. Uh, if I'm in a really bright room and I'm getting a lot of light bleed, I might crank this up a little bit, uh, but you're gonna add a substantial amount of runtime keeping your display and if you want to turn it up just grab it turn it up turn it down you're not going to see anything uh, in this casting because it's not going to change the screen brightness for what I'm uh, showing right now the recording trust me it dims quite a bit so I like it yeah probably right about there uh, and then we we'll can back out of this uh, and there's all sorts of stuff you can do down here storage this one is very useful if you're ever having problems with apps crashing, it's just acting funny, come down here to cache data, click it, uh, and it will ask, here, we'll just go ahead and do it. Click it, yes, let's go ahead and clear the cache. So this clears out cache. Very, very useful. Um, so anyway, so yeah, backup and reset. You can do full Android backups here. Uh, you can change your time and date. Uh, some headsets I've seen users saying, I can't get the time right. Well, you can come here and you can change the time and then the system time will now be correct. So that's that. I mean, super simple, short video, not a whole lot to it. Um, but yeah, being able to access the Android system apps or system settings, sorry is super useful. I, I really do like the ability to change brightness. That's the one uh, that I find that I use the most out of it. And then clearing cache, because uh, that can help uh, troubleshoot a lot of problems as well. So that's that, just a little tip for you guys. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you liked it, if I helped you. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell button to get notified when I do these videos. And uh, yeah, that's that. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.